Welcome back to our Python programming series. This week, we dive into file interactions in Python. We'll explore the most efficient way to read files. We will also see how to write or append to a file. So without further ado, let's get started. Say you have a file named test.txt in the same directory as your Python script. First, let's take a look at the content of our text file. Here's what it contains. Now let's open and read the txt file content in our Python script. Here, we open the file using built-in open function where R stands for read mode. We then print the file name and close the file using f.close. However, this method requires us to manually close the file, which can lead to potential issues if we forget to do so. So what's the better way? Context managers. Context managers make file handling a breeze by automatically managing the opening and closing of files. Let's see how we can use a context manager to open and read our file. Using with open as f, we create a context manager that ensures the file is closed automatically after the block of code is executed. We then read the contents of the file using f.read and print them out. Simple, right? Let's try to optimize our code even further. Using f.read is fine for small files, but what happens if the file is one gigabyte or more? Your system will try to load the entire one gigabyte into memory, which can lead to excessive memory usage. This can slow down your program or even cause it to crash if the file is too large to fit into the available memory. A more efficient approach is to read the file line by line. This way, only one line is read into memory at a time, making it more memory efficient. Let's see another way to read a file efficiently in Python. This time, let's read it in chunks. First, we define and set the chunk size to 1024 bytes, that's 1 KB. This can be adjusted based on your needs and the memory available. Next, we utilize a context manager to open the file in read mode. Next, we start an indefinite loop that continues until explicitly terminated. Inside the while loop, we read the next one kilobyte from the file and store it in the variable chunk. If one kilobyte is not available, it reads up to the end of the file. After reading the chunk, we first check if the chunk is empty or none, which indicates that we have reached the end of the file. If that's the case, we exit the loop with the break statement. In the final step, we print the content of chunk to the console, illustrating the ongoing processing of each data segment which may include further analysis, manipulation, or storage tasks. Reading is essential, but what about writing to files? Let's see how we can create and write to files in Python. In this example, we're using a context manager to open a file named test2.txt in write mode. The W argument stands for write mode, which means we're opening the file to write to it. If the file doesn't exist, Python will create it for us. If it does exist, it will be overwritten. Once the file is open, we use file.write hello world to write the string hello world to the file. When the block of code inside the context manager is done executing, the file is automatically closed, ensuring we don't accidentally leave it open. As mentioned earlier, using W mode will overwrite the file content. If we want to avoid overwriting an existing file, we can use append mode instead, which adds new content to the end of the file. Let's open and see the content of our test2.txt file. As we can see, it contains hello world. Now, let's add some text without overwriting hello world by using append mode. Here's how we can do it. After we run our script, we will see that please subscribe is written next to hello world.
And there you have it. We've covered the essentials of working with files in Python. Now you know how to read from, write to, and manage files effectively. This knowledge is fundamental for any programmer, and I hope you find it useful in your projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Python Source Code ORG for more tutorials and tips on Python programming. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching, and happy coding!